Hello it's Salimi, today's video gonna be a bit different than my other videos, we are going to design and 3D print parallel shifters for my 2017 Toyota Camry, and it will be mounted on the actual parallel shifters, and at the end it should be something like that. I'm gonna take some measurements I imported to SketchUp so I can design the model, the reason I wanted to show you this, nowadays you can design and 3D print any custom part at home if you have access to a 3D printer. This is Cheeto Box Slicer software. Basically, you will tell the printer how to print the model and where to put the supports to hold the model while printing. I'm using resin 3D printer. In terms of quality, they are very good, but you have to work with gloves and well ventilated area and never touch the resin. Here I'm using red transparent resin. The print took about 7.5 hours for each paddle shifter. Alright, after 7.5 hours the print is done and it came out nice. With resin printed models, we still can't touch the model until we wash it with isopropyl alcohol and let it cure under UV light. Sun is the best source for that. Well, that's what my second channel is all about. I do designing and 3D printing RC car bodies, even this fully functional tracks are 3D printed. All these car bodies you see here are 3D printed. If you are interested, I will put my second channel in the video description box below if you wanna check it out. After removing supports, we're gonna clean the model with isopropyl alcohol and let it cure under the sun. And after it cures, you will feel it become a solid part. After curing for a few hours under the sun, I wanted to fill the plus and minus with a different color resin and then file it till it becomes flush with the surface. Even it's a transparent resin, but it looks faded after washing with isopropyl alcohol. So I'm gonna mix some clear coat and apply it on. Not only bring the shine back, but it will also protect it as well. Alright, it's the next day and the clear coat is dry. Already cut the double side tape in this shape, so we're gonna apply it on. It's all done, let's stick it on the paddle shifter. How cool is that look when you can design a custom part for your car? Hope you enjoyed the project and learned something about custom 3D printing for your car. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.